Hello everyone, this is Karara and I welcome you again in Oratex. So, we have seen the interfacing of uh, seven segment LEDs. Uh, we have done with the uh, one segment and also with the four digit uh, seven segment. And uh, in this video, I am going to show you the four digit seven segment LED display. And uh, because I am not causing that uh, one digit, because I, I have the one digit, but I am showing you four digit because one digit is simple. The four digit is difficult, so I'm showing you the difficult one. And uh, this is the program uh, for the four digit. What I have is a common anode. If you will see carefully, these codes are different than the previous program because previous program uh, contains the common cathode patterns. And this is the common anode patterns. So uh, I've made change over here, and everything is same. Uh, the rest of these things are exactly same how they were and uh, I've made this delay one because uh, in simulation it appears uh, good in the 10 but uh, in the practical it appears good in the 1. Uh, let me show you with the 100, let's go with the 100 and then uh, we will start reducing it and we will see. What is the difference? In these delays. So let's start. I've created the hex file. Here's my new uh, the programmer. I'm going to load my program into this software. Now, before programming, I will let you know that uh, this connection, what is this connection is. Uh, you can see these are the port 1, these are data pins, I have uh, exactly uh, connected to these pins, these are data pins, if you can see, it is written A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, that the decimal is for the H. So, if you can see, this is uh, pin 1, and these are the select lines, which is connected to the port 2 over here, and uh, if you will see carefully, this circuit belongs to these registers and transistors. So these transistors operate uh, this uh, when this uh, we give them a select line to the zero, this transistor gets operated and it connects this to the ground and then this common anode operation happens. So we will see, let's uh, uh, do this uh, similar program over here, let me just practical. Uh, in simulation, it works without the transistor and registers, but in practical, you have to give the transistor for the switching operation. Transistor is working as a switch over here. So, let's uh, program this. Just we have to click on the auto. So, it's programming it. And it has been programmed. You can see one transistor. There is four digits, but it is not showing because this one is loose. Okay, but you can see that it's showing it. Sometimes it shows and sometimes it doesn't. But you can see there is too much. It is counting 45, 46, 47, but it is too much. Uh, uh, you can see the difference. So let's reduce this. Let's minimize this. Make it 10. Earlier we were doing in the 10 in the simulation, it appears as together, but in practical you will see, I will load this new file. Okay, it you can see still you can observe that uh, sparkling, that uh, twinkling of those uh, light LEDs. You can see the numbers 55, 56, but uh, this is not that's not what we want. So I'm reducing it more. I'm just giving the delay of one over here. Let's give the delay of one. Let's see what happens. Oh, sorry. I forgot to load the next file.
still it's giving us out, but still I'm going to do it again. So you can see the output it appears as simultaneously. This one pin is blue. That's why it's showing for this. So here you can see the output for four digit. This is how you can run this practical. Uh, it, it, it's really fun. You can do it home and make uh, any other values, any other numbers with this uh, seven second LEDs. So I think you should uh, keep doing, keep uh, learning these things. This is so fun. So guys, again those lines I'm going to repeat that subscribe, like, comment if you have any query and share with your friends if they want to learn these things too. Thank you so much guys.